um, people flaws is what usually makes them uniquely beautiful. So um, I definitely agree with that because I have like um, people that I know and they have gaps. I have a gap. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's in the middle. Hopefully I don't got food in my teeth. I just finished eating. How good would that be? But um, I know a lot of people that have gaps. A lot of people in my family have gaps. And I think gaps are so pretty. Like I love Keisha Cole with the gap. Like, and people feel like, you know, those are flaws. But I love my gap. I love my gap. I love my big forehead. Like it's all, I love everything. I didn't always love that when I was younger. But now... Nobody could tell me nothing. I love me. I love me. And it took a long time for that to happen. But now, I love this big forehead. You see this big forehead? This is where I get all my visions for my outfits, okay? This is where I get all my thoughts and my quotes. This is where all the Twitter rants is at. So, this big head is the prize, okay? So, um, and I think gaps give you character. Like, I love to see women with gaps, guys with gaps. I think it's so sexy. Like, that's so cool. Like, you have a gap. That's character. Everybody don't have that. So, a lot of people that I know that have gaps don't like it. Don't like their gaps. And I'm just like, that is fire. People have moles they don't like. I think all those things they are insecure about is what gives y'all character and what makes y'all you. It makes you you. So, except that flaw and play with it you know like when I, I didn't like my forehead I used to wear bangs right so once I found out what I was under that bang I was like you look good with your hair slicked back you no, don't hide it and then you limited to all these hairstyles I could every hairstyle I had had a bang I had a ponytail a bang I had a, a swoop then I had a um Every braids a bang that was ghetto. We not gonna put no pictures in for that one because that was ghetto. I had braids with a bang. That's when it was getting real bad because why do you have braids and a bang? That's not cute. And it was like not braid bang like a bang with braids. I know. And look at me now. I'm sent apart, mommy. You gonna accept this for her and you gonna love it. And usually the guys that um well I'm in a relationship now, but the guys I used to talk to. Or anybody I used to talk to, they used to like my forehead. So I'm glad I appreciated it. Because look, once I appreciate it, everybody else started appreciating it. So, next. <laughs> the next one is, um, oh, this is so crazy. Um, I don't know if you're going to drag me for this one, but we don't judge people here. So I didn't know there was, like, real ghetto people. Yeah, and I mean ghetto. I know ghetto is like when people used to, um, like the concentration camps and stuff like that. Those are called ghetto. But I mean like people, like Shanene and Martin. Like I didn't know there was real people like that in real life. So I didn't know people really act like that. I thought that was like something that was humorous. Like people that they act like that's how they were, but it's not really how they are. Until I was in college and I met somebody and they were they they were like Shanene. And I was like, first I was shocked, then I was kind of embarrassed, and then then I found out, and then I was judgmental when I was younger, I told y'all that. But then I found out it was a reason why they were like that, and they had a big heart, and I love them to this day. So, yeah, I don't know why, I guess because none of my family members that I knew, because I have ghetto people in my family too, but the people that was in my household, they didn't act like that. So I didn't know people really act like Shanene, like the style, the, ah, like how you doing, like I didn't know people act like that, like, so I don't know. Yeah, and I also didn't know when I was younger that, um, that people, um, had, like didn't know how to take care of themselves. Like I didn't know that people um, didn't know that they smell or they had bad hygiene. I didn't know that people didn't know that. I thought everybody knew how to take care of themselves. But I feel like you learn things as you get older too. Cause some people don't know, like ladies are supposed to wipe from the front to the back. Like some people don't know that. Some people don't know it's not good to use summer eve and like fragrant stuff in your vaginal area. Um, some people don't know that it's good to keep the hair in your nose because the the hair blocks follicles and things getting into like your nose so it's a lot of things i didn't know that um people didn't know and i'm so glad that i got out the house because i learned so much about people and i'm still learning about people 
and I love all of y'all, the ghetto people, people that stink, Every <laughs> everybody. I'm gonna let you know if you stink, but I love you. You don't know probably, and a lot of people just don't know any better. So I feel like I want this platform to be something people learn from. Like you, I want you to learn from me. I want to learn from y'all as a give and take. I want that, you know, I want that, I love that. So, um, books I've read. So I was reading the book I told y'all, um, I think I have it right here. Recent books I've read. So this book is, um, this is the book I read. And it's called, um, The 21 Indispensable Qualities of a Leader. I always want to be a leader for myself or anybody else. If, if anything, if I'm a leader at work or with anybody, look at my bookmark, y'all. Don't judge me. Beyonce, how you doing? <laughs> so, um, yeah, and this is the book, this, this kind of book, you don't um, read in one day. You have to read it, take notes, apply it in your day to day, and then read the next chapter. So, I like that. Like, it's not something you read in one day, and I read really quick. So, it said in the beginning of the book, don't read quick because you have to digest it. So, this book, fire, and I'm going to read it again and again. This book is fire okay so um if you want to read it it's a great book i don't know i think somebody recommended this to me i don't know if i got it from the library the bookstore or somebody gave it to me like here girl because people if you know me you know i like to read so and this is the another book that um I, i'm reading i'm like on the last two pages yeah I'm on the last two pages and it's the freedom writers the, from the movie so this all right, if you've seen the movie, that's a small part of what actually happened with these kids. So if you enjoyed the Freedom Riders movie, the book is phenomenal, okay? It was certain pages that were so deep, I couldn't even finish reading it because I was just like so uncomfortable that this was happening to a human. I told you I'm really like empathetic lately. So it really hurt me. Like, just like it's so detailed. You know, books are so much better than the movies. And this. It has way more than the movies. Like, they spoke about, like, three kids' stories in that classroom. And she had, like, a classroom of 20. So, every child was going through something. They were going through rape. They were going through being an immigrant um, and not being able to do certain things as other people. Um, racism. Being in California and can't wear certain colors. And um, can't mingle with um, different races. Even though you want to be that the white person's friend. But you Asian so you can't be their friend. Or you black or you Mexican. And you just can't sit with them. You know? So it's just like and it, that hurt them too. Or um, their mom was on drugs. And they were home alone. Or their mom was stealing their jewelry. It's like different things. And, um, and it's just like. Dang, like people really be going through it. Like people really be going through it. You gotta be nice to people, man. I'm still learning. You gotta be nice to people because you don't know what people are going through. People, you could say one thing. You don't know if that person was sleeping outside and they came to school and that's why they smell. Like that's one of the, the things in here. One of the students, it was in the next school year. And you know the next school year you got your, your, um, your outfit, you ready for the first day, the first week, you got your, your new outfits. He went to school and he didn't have a new outfit. So I guess he wasn't cool. You know what I'm saying? But when you're that age, you don't think about, oh, should I give you clothes? Some some kids are very um, sweet like that. But a lot of kids are really mean and cruel. And um, so he didn't have a new outfit. And he was happy to even be going to school because his home situation wasn't good. So I was like, dang, like, I just reading the book, I'm like, dang, I wish I could give him clothes, you know, like, because this is a real story. This is somebody's story, and this is somebody's story still today. Not that person in particular, but it's people that don't have it, that don't have it, and people make fun of them, you know? So, that's so mean, like, I just be wanting to help everybody. I know I can't, but I be wanting to help people, because it's just like, dang, like, people are hungry, people don't have clothes, and then there's people with houses with 10 bedrooms, and nobody's sleeping in it so it's just like that's so sad and it's so hard in new york too but this is this book is in california it's hard out there too skid row that's another thing skid row i've been watching the show the soft white underbelly 
Oh, my cousin put me on, but I don't know why I'm watching it so late because she been told me to watch it. But um, I've been watching the interviews. It's heavy, y'all. Like, if y'all don't want to, like, cry or if y'all yeah, don't want to be sensitive or y'all can't take, like, harsh things or whatever, don't watch it. But if you're interested in people's stories and, um, like, people's, like, triumph, I guess, but a lot of them didn't get over it. You know, like, some people watch, like, these people, they're doing good today, you know? So it's, like, a happy ending. But those people, they're, they're still in that rut you know and they're they don't have a happy ending like it got worse better you know than anything but some people um he does updates on the people that live on skid row um so if you don't know what skid row is it's like um in california it's an area a strip where people live in tents homeless people drug addicts prostitutes so he interviews the people pimps he interviews a whole bunch of people and he asks them like what kind of life they live in how was their childhood? Do they have two parent household? A lot of people I've been watching ask that question. But um, yeah, but did you get molested, raped when you were younger, blah blah blah. Like it's real heavy. Like if you're not if you don't wanna like if those things are like um like like if those that is like a touchy subject to you or like um not touchy subject or if that's like um like you have trauma or that might poke something in you that you don't want to wake up don't watch it okay but I like to watch things like that because I'm into interviews like I, I told y'all before like I love to see people um body language tell their story I love reading books that's bio biographies or autobiographies I'm into that so I love interviews I love the human I just love how we work you know like mentally and physically and everything so that show is great and i'm just like going off here huh so but yeah those are the topics i want to talk about um if you're having topics y'all want me to talk about let me know um i finished real housewives of potomac it's crazy because i be reading books i be watching shows i be shooting videos i be working i got a lot going on that's why i be overwhelmed because i just be going and going and going and going and going i gotta relax sometimes because i can't do everything so yeah um yeah, I don't think I have anything to say about Housewives of Potomac, really. And I already told y'all, Jasmine Sullivan album is out. If y'all watched her live tiny desk or whatever, let me know. I love it. I watch it every morning. Put on Twitter. I love people who love their culture and celebrate it. I definitely do. Um... <laughs> Some girl put everyone's side teeth are missing from cracking all those crab legs. <laughs> and I reposted it guys mad funny. Oh, that's so funny. Um, oh, I got chills. Thankful for my growth, but very much still working on me. Period. That part. I'm always trying to self-improve, okay? Always trying to go higher in everything. Um, I'm very hard on myself which is sometimes bad. But, um... Ooh, this one might hurt, okay? There is a lot of broken parents raising broken kids. Stop the generation, what's it, generational curses? Stop it, stop. Be better than what you didn't like getting raised up in, okay? Stop it. Stop it. You don't have to do what your grandparents did to you to your mom and what your grandparents did to your dad and what the, your parents did to you. Stop it. Stop it somewhere. Stop it. Don't let it keep going on, okay? So, yeah, because there's a lot of broken parents that need counseling and they, they bring it down to their kids and it keeps going. Just stop it. Just stop it. You be the person to stop what you don't like going on in your family. Don't bring it down to the, your kids and your grandkids. Don't do that. Oh, this is a good topic. I did want to talk about this with y'all. How do y'all feel about people kissing y'all children, right? And then I said, do you kiss your children on the mouth? So, um, if I had a child, nobody's kissing nothing on the baby. Nothing. First of all, I'm a germaphobe. That's one. And two people are nasty. Be nasty. Yeah, that's fine to be nasty. Don't kiss my kid. But, um, I don't have a kid, but I would be so 
crazy. That's why it's probably not meant for me to have a kid. Because I would not want nobody to touch my kid. I wouldn't trust nobody to babysit. I, ugh, it would be so bad. But, um, so, I used to kiss my mom in the mouth. But then I realized she kissed other people. And I realized how much germs is in your mouth. And I stopped doing it. And then when once I started kissing people, I didn't feel like it was respectful to keep continue to kiss my mom on the mouth. But I used to kiss my mom on the mouth when I was younger. But um, after a while, I think it's a little inappropriate. But if that's what you do, that's fine. But I don't think you should be kissing. I wouldn't kiss my, my kid on the mouth either. Like if I had a child, I would not kiss him on the mouth, okay? Because there's mad germs in my mouth. Your mouth has more germs than anything. It's really nasty, okay? So kids, they break out in rash. They get rash on their cheek. They can get um, like f like bacteria in their mouth from you kissing them in the mouth. Do not kiss children in the mouth or on the face. When I see babies and I think they're cute and it's like you get tempted to want to kiss them. I just sniff them like. Mm. Like baby smells so good. I love the way baby smell. But I'm not going to kiss nobody's child. I will sniff your baby because it smells good. Like. Like my nephew, I used to sniff him all the time. He smelled so good. Oh my God, baby smells so good. Like new babies when they're not using the bathroom. But yeah, that's a good topic. Let me know. Do y'all let people kiss your kids in the mouth? Do y'all kiss your kids in the mouth? Comment down below. If you do, to each his own, you know? I'm just letting you know what I wouldn't do and what you couldn't do to mine. But if you want to kiss your kids in the mouth, that's your house, you know? I can't ever tell y'all what to do in your house. I can just tell y'all what I wouldn't do. But we could have um, healthy debates on here. Healthy debates. That means we don't bash anybody, voice your opinion. We could disagree, and that's fine. A lot of people don't know how to do that either. They think debates are arguments. We're not arguing, sweetie. We're debating. We're disagreeing. We're two different people with two different opinions, two different lifestyles, two different ways of growing up, been to two different, you know, um, like ways of living so would y'all let people kiss your kids in the mouth that's the question comment down below um uh, uh i put everyone wants to move to atl and cali if you boring you're gonna be boring wherever you go enjoy your own company hey stop scratching the wall sweetie um, everyone wants to move to ATL or Cali. If you're born, you're going to be born wherever you go. Enjoy your own company and make wherever you live lit. Okay? I love New York personally. I've been to Atlanta when I was younger. I want to go as an adult. I might have a different experience now that I can go to a strip club. But, um, it's very crowded there because everybody's moving there. In California, I've been twice and... <laughs> and... Like, it's overrated to me. Like, I think because I come from a city that is just like, okay. Like, it's like the same thing to me. Like, it, when I went out there, it wasn't hot. I went out there twice, it wasn't hot. It barely was sunny. So I'm just like, okay, sunny California. Mm. Then it's just like where the stars are. It's like 42nd Street. It's like crackheads laying on the floor. Like, like it's the same thing. Like, I could see the same thing in New York. So I was kind of like, okay. But... If I had, like, business to go to, I would do that. But I would never want to live there. And they have, like, natural disasters in both places, and I'm good off that. Like, um, I went to Atlanta. I have a lot of family out there. And there was, like, a tornado. And we had to evacuate them all. I'm like, we don't have that in New York. Thank God. But I'm, like, I'm ready to go home. Because we, what? A tornado? No. Then California has earthquakes. I'm good. I'm not doing none of that. No, I'm not doing that. So, um, if you're from California, Atlanta, that's nice. But um, have you been through like the natural disaster thing, or that happens like three times out of the year, or it barely happens, or you were on vacation when it happened? Like, let me know how y'all living with the natural disasters. Like, is that okay? Do you have insurance on your property for those things? Like, I don't know. What's another one? Um, <laughs> never argue with someone with a white tongue. That was Jackie. I didn't know that said that. Um, oh, this is a poem I wrote, y'all. I put, I hope God hears all the tears falling today. 
for that person that is at their breaking point, for that person that is overwhelmed, for that person that doesn't feel seen, for that person that feels alone, for that person that feels taken advantage of, that person that um, that doesn't have it all together. Right? That's what I put. Um, I wonder when life will go back to normal. I'm so over COVID. Like, seriously. I want to go on vacation. Okay? Now. I want to go on vacation now. I want to go on vacation. Tomorrow. Yesterday. And today. Vacation. I'm going to run away. And go on vacation. But I do not want to quarantine for 14 days. I got to work, y'all. I got to work. It's like SMR. Here is ghetto. No, I love New York, but not for long times. Okay, I had to travel and come back home, you know. So, um, <laughs> I'm a Debbie family member, I don't call nobody <laughs> now. I am, I'm a Debbie, but I used to check on people all the time, but you know, things happen. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to be pouring into people that don't pour into me. And that's friends, family. I'll pray for you. But I'm not about to be stalking you and you're not interested. You know, you can't push things on people. So, that's what I meant by that. Um, some people enjoy being miserable. Like, it's no way every time I speak to you, you're having a bad day. You ever spoke to somebody like, hey girl, how you doing? And they be like, oh, my man just sucks. Oh, I hate this job. And then, okay, oh, okay. Oh, and then you call them tomorrow hoping there's a better day for them. And they like, this lady was looking at me on a train. I hate New York. That, like, it's just like, dang, you always mad? You never have a good day. You always mad. God ain't never look out for you. You breathing? You got a roof over your head? And you mad? Girl. Y'all gotta get it together. Y'all cannot be mad every day. You know what that could do to your insides? Stress? Ooh. Pray, girl, pray. I know some people that are angry and I all the time and everything upsets them and it's just nasty. And I have to stop calling those people. First of all, I don't like talking on the phone. So if I'm calling you, checking on you, I love you. But I will shoot a text, especially for those people now. Because it's just like, I don't want to hear you complaining all the time. Nobody wants to hear that. We all have things that we're going through. Nobody wants to hear every time you call somebody, they have something to complain about. My boyfriend cheated on me again. Okay. That's not the first time. So, stop being negative all the time. Don't be that negative friend. Don't be negative all the time. And if you are do have, do have bad news, ask them how they doing first. Okay? Just don't talk the whole phone call. Be like, how you doing today, girl? You good? And then go, you know that man from, okay, you gotta balance, you gotta, it's not a, you know, rant, but okay, whatever. Um, I knew I matured on a different level when I started praying for people I don't like, and that don't like me. Woo, that's a conversation y'all not ready for. Yes, I be praying for people that don't like me, and that I'm not well not too interested in i'm not gonna say i don't hate anybody but um not people i'm not too interested in like that girl didn't like me i'm gonna pray for her she don't need to like me but i hope that her heart is softened you know like and i have different prayers for different people but i don't have to pray on hair but like i pray for those people those people are really hurt like it's something that's deep in them that they hate people and they don't like people and they mistreat people it's something in them that's hurting so those people need the most prayer. People that's hard to love need love the most. Mmm. You heard that? Some people that's hard to love need love the most. I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to let that sink in. I'm going to let that marinate a little bit. Those people need it. Those people need it. Oh, it's a good one. I love to see black kid books. It makes me so happy. We went from being killed for reading to being on the covers. I love to see it. That gives me chills to see black books, black people on books on the cover, writing books. I love it. 
I love it. Like, if you, I, I um buy Crystal's daughter like um kid books and their black books like encouraging her hair texture and like just showing her to, to how to forgive and things like that i think those are so good like it's a beautiful thing to buy somebody a, a little bit of a education so they can you know like have like that's gonna you know work up there so i'm not really into buying kids toys anybody that knows me i only i don't buy kids toys but um i'll buy a kid a book or I will help them with their homework. Like, I'm really, like, pro-education. And we could do, like, an activity. But I'm not really into, like, kids' toys and stuff like that. The parents could buy that. I'm going to buy some educational stuff. I'm going to buy you some books. We're going to go to the museum. We're going to learn today. Okay? So, yeah, I like that. I love to see, like, my nephew come over here. He's watching all black cartoons. <laughs> He was watching some soul singer. He watched The Princess and the Frog. He watched a lot of black movies and he loved it. It's nice. He seen people that look like him. So, um, sometimes all people know is yelling and screaming and fighting. That's their environment abuse and those people need counseling. That's trauma. So, um, a lot of people, like when they want to get their point across, they wind up screaming or they wind up screaming people when they want to get their point across they'll find themselves yelling screaming cursing um shooting low blows you don't have to do that to get your point across you could talk to somebody in a calm tone you could talk to somebody through love and you can still get your point across that yelling and all that i've learned that too you don't have to do that to communicate you don't have to curse to get your point across you can use your words to prove a point and be a powerhouse just off you um, knowing how to explain yourself and use your vocabulary. You don't have to curse and scream and do that because just because you're screaming don't mean that they're going to hear you any clearer. No, you're going to aggravate the situation. Yeah, both going to be yelling back and forth and it's real toxic. So that's, you don't have to communicate like that. So, yeah. Um... I put, ooh, I can't wait for my girl chat. I got stuff to say, and I'm saying it all because it's going to be two part, okay? Um, everybody family got some doo doo going on. No one's household or family is perfect. I felt that. I don't know where I got this from, but I guess I was watching something and he said that. But yeah, everybody family got something going on. So don't ever think the grass is green on the other side. You don't, they don't post, some people do post their problems on the internet, but they're not going to post their toxic family things like on the internet like they're not gonna say oh my mom keep taking my dad back after he cheating on her or they're not gonna post oh um my mom is cheating on my dad they're not gonna post those things but they're gonna post highlights you know like today's my mom's birthday we're having a family reunion like those things so just because you see those things on the internet stop comparing yourself to people on the internet i had to learn that too because i told y'all i'm not perfect i don't come on this to act like i'm perfect or i got it all together i don't have it all together and I'm not perfect. And I love that about me because everything I go through builds character. Every time I get my feelings hurt, it builds character. Every time I lose a friend, I hope that they become a better friend for the next person that they learned that they couldn't be a, a good friend to me. So every time I, 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 well, I just say my boyfriend now is my, own, my first and my last boyfriend. But if I did date somebody else... I hope that whatever they learned with me, they can use for their next relationship. And I just want that. Like, I just want everybody to be happy. Like, I really, I'm not jealous of anybody. I don't have that in me. Like, I'm literally happy for people. Like, I see the women on my on my social media doing their thing. They got their own place. They open up stores. Like, they open up stores and suites and having their own business, doing nails, doing hair, doing makeup. Everything I got today, black owned, Okay. Everything I got today, black owned. And I am proud of y'all. Keep doing your thing, man. I can't say it enough. Like, I can't say it enough. So, whether well, that's a guy having a, his own business, a woman having their own business, and they're millennials and they're doing their thing. <laughs> I'm proud of y'all. Like, seeing y'all do your thing gives me chills. Like, I'd be so happy and so proud. Like, I don't know how somebody can see somebody doing good and be like, Mm, she thinks she all that. Yeah, she is all that because she did. She bust her butt. 
She saved her money. She had sleepless nights. She eat, slept, and drank this. How could you, how dare you belittle what she got going on? Stop hating. That's so nasty. Like, I don't know how people could just be so jealous and so mean. Like, they, that, that person is doing their thing. Let that inspire you. Don't let that make you jealous and you got all this nastiness in you. Let that go. Let that drop something into you. Like, dang, she did her thing. Let me, let me get on what I want to do. You know, like, if she could do it, I could do it. You know, like, stop comparing yourself to people. And if you do, do it in a positive light. Stop making everything so negative all the time. Yeah, she thinks she all that. Mm -hmm. I used to go to school with her. Now she don't even answer my DM. She busy. She got a job. She's she's not laying around the house talking about people. She's busy. She has a business. She's a businesswoman. She's doing her thing. How about you go and over there and let her do your hair? Okay, how about that? You know, stuff like that. Like, stop hating on women. I hate to see women hating on other women. That's so corny. That's so easy to do. It's so easy to hate on somebody. Tell somebody something nice. Walking down the street, you look fly. You know, you put the outfit together yourself, that's fly. You know how many women be so shocked when I give them compliments? That's sad. Make that normal. Compliment, women compliment a woman. I be like, dang, you look nice. You know how shocked I be when people, women give me compliments? It's usually guys like, oh ma, your black turtleneck. That's annoying. Don't cat call me. But if a woman tell me, you look nice, I'll be like, and that's so sad that I'm shocked that another woman is giving me a compliment. That should be normalized. Did I say that right? Normalized? I think so. So, um, let me see. Hey Siri, is normalized the word? Bring a return to a normal condition or state. Bring a return to a normal condition or state. I know I wasn't stupid. So, <laughs> thank you, homegirl. So, um, yeah. So, I'm just like, stop hating on people. Stop doing all that. That's nasty. Don't be nasty. And I feel like um, that's another topic I want to talk about. I feel like guys have better friendships and bonds than girls do. Like, I feel like um, guys, they have an issue. They'll talk about it. They'll pound it out, and they're good. Girls, they catty. Some girls, they're catty. They talk about each other. They tell their secrets when they're not talking. They're going on the internet. They're going on live. Yeah, because Shaquita, she don't like me no more, but her pillow was yellow underneath underneath the sheet. Eh, she's a slob on the pillow. Like, why are you doing that? She let you into her home, and you tell her her business? That's, that's nasty. That's nasty, okay? Stop being like that, y'all. Y'all disappointed me with that. But back to the positive. Keep doing your thing. Um, I had a good day. I hope you had a good day. And if today wasn't a good day for you, I hope tomorrow's a better day. If not tomorrow, the next day. Be grateful for what you have. A lot of people are going through some craziness. Okay? Be grateful for the roof over your head. If you ate today. If your stomach's not growling and you don't know when your next meal is, be thankful for that. If you um, have clothes to wear, be thankful for that. If you have clean clothes to wear, be thankful for that. If you have a coat this winter, be thankful for that. Okay? Speaking of that, my church is having a coat drive. I'll put that in my Instagram so you could donate coats, lightly worn or new. And um, be thankful. Be thankful for the roof over your head, the food in your fridge. Okay? Be thankful for that, that bed that you're sleeping in. Be thankful for that, that heat that you have in your home, okay? Be thankful for all that. If you have those things, then you should have had a good day because a lot of people don't have that and they don't know when they're going to get that, okay? So, if you had a, a healthy baby, be thankful for that, okay? So, I don't want to be the mom. I'm like the mom friend, but get into this here. Ooh, ooh, the baby here. Well, I wrote that too. Why do you think men friendships last longer than women friendships? Why do you think men hash stuff out quick and women hold grudges? Some because not every woman or man are the same. Some, you know. But why do y'all think that men could squash things quicker than women? Let me know your opinion. Every topic that I spoke about today, I want to know your opinion on it, okay? 
I love y'all so, 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 so much. Thanks again for those who checked on me, those who commented. I didn't make that video for pity, and I didn't even know y'all could read my energy like that off the screen, which is crazy. So thank you. Thanks for people that wrote me separately, people that wrote me in comments. Thank y'all, all, all y'all. Thanks for my cousins, Jada and Jaya. They took me out to eat. Well, they, they, took, they didn't take me out. We went out to eat. And that time out of the house meant so much um, to me. Thanks for one of my dearest friends um, for writing me and making sure I was good and telling me um, don't quit YouTube and stuff like that. And she believes in me and stuff like that. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, and that touched my heart. Thank you for checking on me. Um, thanks for believing in my YouTube channel. Thanks for telling me that YouTube needs me on here because I am a gem and I have things to say and this is a great platform for me to say it on. Um, thank you for people that pray for me, my sister, my man. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I just want to push out, you know, like a video. I didn't know that y'all would read the energy off the screen. And um, thanks. Yeah, a lot of people said a lot of y'all said um y'all were happy that I was transparent, but I'm I just come on here and be me, you know? If I'm having a good day, I'm having a good day. If I'm not, I'm not. You know, I'm not gonna come up here and pretend. I don't pretend off the camera, I'm not gonna pretend on the camera. So I'm gonna consistently be me. Thanks for consistently rocking with your girl. IV Roman numeral four catch that and um I went on a hot day today that's why I'm all dolled up and you're gonna see what I did because I vlogged but this video is gonna come first before that one and let me know what other videos I want to see Crystal want me to eat something I don't know what she want me to eat um she want me to eat something or do a prank Crystal I don't play those games Okay, and neither do you. So I don't know who I'm pranking. And I live with myself and it's quarantine. So we're not pranking anybody, okay? If you want me to prank somebody, you might be the one that's getting pranked. This is not a prank channel. But I don't know if about eating nothing either. I have food allergies. But okay, give me some more topics, y'all, that y'all want me to talk about. Hello. I don't want to get off here, y'all see, y'all can tell. I don't want to get off here. My mother York is sturdy. Hey, I ain't talking like this. Follow my sister on TikTok. Um, I think it's Miss Storm of the, um, what was it? Miss Storm or um, the Storm family. Follow my sister on TikTok. Cause she lit and my nephews and my nieces, they be going crazy. I don't got TikTok, but um, yeah, I think that's all I had to say. I think that's all I had to say. I just look so good. I don't want to get off the camera. I love y'all. Thanks for everything. All my subbies, I love y'all. I'm going to give y'all the best show. I'm going to continue to be consistent. I'm going to continue to serve looks on a silver platter. I'm going to continue to be transparent i'm gonna continue to keep it fresh and live and yes see i changed my backdrop because that black and white was getting old and um hopefully the city open up so i can give y'all vlogs traveling vlogs man this is ghetto ghetto but until then i'll be watching y'all traveling vlogs and hope y'all getting tested and all that because i can't catch you through the youtube screen so Love y'all. See y'all later. Besitos.